lot of work. He throws something that we've never thrown here before and he catches two species that we've never caught. It's, oh yeah, that nice. fish, bro. So pretty much the objective for this trip was to really get out there in our element in Long Island, which is a lot easier than most people think. There are countless untouched spots that are yet to be explored. And we so happen to find this two and a half mile long point that juts out into one of the bays. I was fishing with Eric, Johnny, and Kai, a new member of Uncle Larry Outdoors. The kid catches giant smallmouth in the Passaic River. He's an absolute local legend. So I hope you guys like this video. We really had a great time out here exploring what there was to be explored at this point. Dude, it's, it's so nuts that this place exists and an island is so populated. And, and it's low key. It's eight bucks to park a car. <laughs> we got Eric wow. on the camera today. That's yeah, we've never seen it like this. What? This is what you find when you're out here. Dude, we got another high tide too. Oh, dude, is it high right now? It's out going, yeah. You know, we're out here, man. We're out here. Oh, oh, dude, right there. There we go. The GoPro's off before we've been crushing the robins. Pretty much cast after cast. I went four for four. Eric got one at his feet. We've been murking them. Dude, cheers, bro. Cheers, oh, cheers. to the robins. Oh, hang on. Fire chicken cheers, baby. Robbies. Getting them right back there. They're following us to our feet. They're pretty much at our feet. I'm sure I could scope one out right here and sight fish them. Oh, there's a robin, dude. Here he is. Yo, Kai, cast right here, bro. Oh, oh too bad. Too, too slow. <laughs> Oh, this guy is aggressive, dude. Two for two. Get him back there. I got a question. You remember when AI stepped over Tyron Lou? Oh! <laughs> this kid's out of control. Yo. That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> hey, baby, bro. Wow. <laughs> Jumping Robbins, dude. Jumping Robbins. Oh, there he Rockin goes. Jumping Robbins. Dude, we could actually dude. catch him again, right? Dude, we could literally catch him again. Oh, oh, he magged me. <laughs> Eric's hooked up again. This kid has been over here. He's been on the monster robins. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, Kai's hooked up. His first, what is it, robin or a fluke? Dude, is that a fluke? What is that? Dude, bring him in, bring him in. New porgy. species. Is that a porgy? Yeah. Dude, yo. <laughs> Give me some, nice, bro. That's so bro. sick. We might get the porgy, slam bro. today. On the fuck porgy on a Kai there, tag. Bro. Ain't that some shit? In the Kai just switched it up because we were seeing all these bait fish. Come here, brother. Nice. So That's a beautiful looking fish. Yeah, yeah turquoise bro. You see the colors, on? Man? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Yo, that Kai tag. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Bro, this thing has been catching everything, bro. Bringing bass fishing everything, to the salt. bro. This is probably what you used to catch some of the smallies, right? Nice one, yeah, yeah. It's probably good oh, one. dude, that's a big porgy. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice fight, too. Let's go. Nice. Okay, bring him right by my camera. Let me see. Oh, that's sweet. That's so cool seeing the porgies. There right next to the short, the horseshoe crab. Look at that. Dude. Sick, bro. I wonder what that is, dude. That could be your first robin of the day. That, that looks like a robin. That looks like some robin. Yeah, because he's not moving too much. Oh, it's a good one though. That's a nice one. That Kai tech, dude. The second you put that on, it's like, why are we throwing bucktails over here, guys? Bro. First sea chicken of the day. And he's off. You know, it's like like a, like a coal miner. Just because the coal miners are good people. Yeah. And they're hardworking people doesn't mean that we should be coal mining anymore. Oh, absolutely, dude. Like, it's bad. The thing is, there is a solution to anything, no matter what anyone says. As long as you take the right mentality towards something, you can find a compromise that works out for everyone. Well, dude, just like in the way 100 years ago, 200 years ago, coal mining wasn't, a, or whatever it was. Yeah. Coal mining had just started. Something else ended for coal mining to start, and then people exactly. became coal miners. Like, well, now coal mining is going to end, and like... There's so many things that we're seen as compl being completely fine. People figure out that it's not good, and everyone's like, oh, wait, we shouldn't have been doing this the whole time. Why wouldn't they look at everything like that with a positive twist to it? Like, you don't want to be looking at everything like, oh, we're doing it wrong. This is bad. No, it's like You want to be looking at it like, okay, we're doing this, and that's a fact. So how can we make it better? That's how I see it, dude. I just see everything being way too tied to the economy. It's like, all right, we're going to make money. What is money when you don't have, when you don't have this any position. life? Yeah. How are you going to be happy at all or be able to make any progress if you first can't take care of like your own mental attitude about things? Like if this gets destroyed, I am done. Like I won't be able to keep moving on in life or do anything positive. Like that, that's kind of the, yeah, that's the bottom line in my opinion. I mean, the thing is, if there's a world to live in, there's a big difference between it being like 
something like this or completely like it's going to be in the future if we don't make any change. So I'm just so glad we're all out here, dude. Like, like who wouldn't love this? Let's go. He was on it for a while. Oh. It's, it's fighting weird, dude. I wonder what that is. Head shakes to it. Oh, dude, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. Yo. Big fluke. Yo. We were what just talking about this smaller profile. What do you think that is? 17? 17, 17 and a half. Yeah, that's a solid that's a fluke, nice fluke, dude. dude. You're throwing the half ounce bucktail. Yeah, so we, yeah, More we finesse. Uh, took, off, took off the clip size down. Oh yeah, Kai's been catching him on the Kai Tech. And threw on more. like a little more finesse approach. Oh yeah. Got this beautiful fluke, It's dude. just beginning of outside too. Like a little up close of what he looks like. It's lighter because we're in that little more back bay right here. You see this bottom, dude. He that's literally a beautiful fish. Right that's in. pretty close to a keeper. Honestly, that, that could be might 18, be 18. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice fish. All right, we'll get the release. You want to get underwater? Underwater, yes. dude, yeah. Dude, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him. Still on there? There he is. Ah! Dude! Donnie is so dialed as Robin. Well, hey. Fish are biting again. Making me feel like a Googan out of here. No, nah, I'm just throwing. I, it's just, dude. Dude, you've got no, me so into salt water. You, the, you got the, the punch. Inshore salt water about that finesse approach. That's what people got to realize. It is. We learned that. I would say we learned that the easy way. We kind of just started doing it. You know how we learned it? We came out and we fished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we weren't doing that the last couple weeks. No one taught us. Either. No. They tell you to reel fast for bluefish. We were casting down current, letting it flutter in their face. Bucktail Johnny's. Yo, that would be the coolest bar name. Bucktail Buck Johnny's. Is I feel like anything Uncle Larry's from now on is just going to be the future. Wait, Uncle Larry take over for the world. I think that it's all I'm doing for the rest of my life is Uncle Larry's related things. Why wouldn't you? Dude, the scent is just way too sick. Oh, got him, dude. No, no, that was a fluke. That was a fluke. Yo, dude, this got him. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, I don't, I don't know if it's a fluke. The rob. Oh, fluke. the fluke. fluke. Dude, he Woo. came back for it, dude. Oh, dude, wow, I not, love fluke. Spots, bro. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Dude, I've got the Tom Petty shades. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. I've got one of my bigger fluke right here. Upside down shot. Upside, that's the only way I hold the fish, dude. Look at that fish, bro. He came back for it, too. I knew it was a fluke. I got the bite. Came back and freaking nailed it. He's dark, man. Dude, you're showing us where the poor you are, bro. We've never even seen one here before. Let alone really caught bigger fluke in here, right? We, we missed a couple that were big. But we, we didn't land one that was sizable. Oh! Doubled up. Kyle's got the porgy. Johnny's on probably another fluke, dude. I hope it's a fluke, but I think it's a yeah, I'm double up. Dude, look at that. Like... Alright, ready for release? Yeah. Species number four, we've got right, bluefish, fluke, sea robins, porgy. You want to release? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stand right out here. Oh. Yeah. So. Hell yeah! Those little head shakes too, I wonder what that is. Porgy Master back at it, I don't know man. Yeah? Oh, it's a robin. No! No dude, it's a fluke! Let's go! Dude, that's a nice one! Dude, let's go! Those head shakes, I was like, yo, this is not a robin. You said it wasn't a robin. Yeah, dude. Almost 18. 17 and a half. Almost 18. Oh, dude, that's a fluke. All right, we are at the point right now. This is pretty much a central point on the bay where we have the inlet on my right coming back in. We have the entire bay that drains out through this bigger channel right here. And we're out on this two mile point that juts out way into the bay. So this is where I'm thinking we're gonna catch the biggest fish. I've got the three quarter ounce bucktail tied on right here. Last time I was having a lot of luck fishing either right in front of this rip right here or in that little back eddy. So I'm thinking today should probably be the same because it's all about getting your bait in front of the fish and getting them to feed because there's no excuse when you're fishing salt water saying, oh, there aren't fish here. The fish are always here. It's just a matter of getting them to bite, figuring out the right technique that's going to get those hits. Let's go. Oh, it's a big ass. Yeah. 
Robbins, baby. We've got Kai on the Kai Yo, tag. Watch this line. Nice old striper hooked up. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Nice one. Fucking nice fucking go. <laughs> you, you throw something that we've never thrown here before, and he catches two species that we've never caught. It, oh, look yeah. at that nice fish, bro. Squirty, bro. So sick. That's fucking Dude, sick. we were looking for the stripers. What is that, species number five today? Yeah. You want a picture? Yeah. On the other hand, what, what you've taught me is this is also nasty. Whatever you throw is nasty if you're confident in it. So but that's kind of the bottom line. Yes. Jersey, man. Fuck yeah. Uh,